Can you vibe code an entire e-com store? Claude code with Codex Design, Docker and Player MCP. Can we make an entire e-com website from just a CSV? Let's find out together. So I'm going to be using WooCommerce. I actually didn't really like WooCommerce until I had to add it to SEO Grow. Now that I've actually used it a little bit, it's really interesting. Now, just before we continue, if you need any help with your SEO and you're on either WooCommerce or Shopify, this video is sponsored by SEO Grove. SEOGrove.ai, it's a SaaS that will grow your store automatically. You can still join the waitlist. There's still the special offer for our founding members, which is $99 for three months. Sorry, $99 a month for three months and then going up to $499. But yeah, basically, I didn't actually realize this, but WooCommerce is pretty damn interesting. So what I've done is I basically just found this, which is um, a load of products on uh, GitHub, right? It's just an example CSV. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can make an entire website from it. So let's just open up terminal because I just turned my computer off for the first time in a while. And let's zoom in a little bit here. And actually, we need Visual Studio Code as well. And I'll just do a new window yep sure and then file open folder i already need to learn how to do this without doing it manually and we'll call this uh, wordpress woocom because that's just what came into my mind and then open that folder so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use codex for the design here and then i'm going to use um cloud code to create the thing so i'm really curious to see just how good or how well this is going to work so let's start by giving Codex the CSV, which obviously it doesn't accept it. So let's go here instead. And I'm going to say, please design me a home page, a full home page with as many design elements as possible for an e com store selling the following products. You can use image links to really show the quality and modernity of your build. Just use HTML, CSS, JavaScript. There we go. And then we'll send the product. So while Codex fires up, let's actually set up Claude Code as well. The reason I'm using Claude Code, by the way, is because it's much better at using Docker and things like that. And also just generally, it's just much better with um, it's much better with uh, WordPress, basically. So let's see the inside, uh, what did I call this? WordPress, WordPress, WooCom, there we go. And then let's do, let's add the Playwright MCP first of all. So we're going Google, Playwright MCP, there we go. And we'll just add this, okay. Uh, do we need any other MCPs? I don't think so. Okay, so uh, inside, oh wait, Claude, dash dash dangerously, skip permissions. Okay, create a new folder called um, ecom site, and then inside that, start a fresh Docker instance. Uh, with WordPress for development and WooCommerce installed. There we go. And we'll just send that. So let's just check out what's going on here. Okay, still just doing stuff. That's fine. Let's actually just open Docker as well. Someone said that the main flex is that your Docker started in such a short amount of time. I have one of the new Macs, guys. That's probably why. I think I could run LLMs on this thing, honestly. But I think I think when all of these are active, I think I was just using 60 gigabytes of RAM or something before I turned my computer off. Jesus, no wonder my, no wonder it froze yesterday while I was playing League of Legends. I think that's probably on me. Okay, so we should actually just, yeah, we can basically open this already. I'll, I'm going to install everything. I'm going to show you guys everything that I actually do here. So the containers are running. Let's wait a moment for WordPress to fully initialize, then set it up. So I'm just waiting for it to set it up for me. You could run through this manually, but I'm just going to let it do, you know, uh, I'm going to let it do it itself. This is what I use Claude code for. 
right? I just kind of want to demonstrate what I use Claude code for. Um, and it's, it's mainly stuff like this. Like if I want to really, if, so I've said, just install the CLI there. So you, you, I do keep an eye on it, right? So web, it said here that uh, WordPress image, blah, 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 doesn't have it uh, installed by default. Let's install WordPress through, but I don't like that. So I said, just install the WordPress CLI because I want to use the WordPress CLI. So this is the kind of stuff I use it for. Any shell commands, any annoying thing, MCPs, Docker, that kind of stuff. You're going to run, it, run into huge problems trying to do that, right? If you do it with... Um, if you look at Codex, right? And then Codex raw power and raw ability to code is really, really nice. Okay, so let's have a look. Why does it say failed? Okay, interesting. Let's just put it all in an index.html file. Okay, so this is the, the design that um, Codex came out with, which is really, really nice, actually. Super, super good. So can we turn this into a WordPress website with one prompt? That's the question. This is this is actually insane if I can if I can do this. This looks really really nice. I I think it could even be I think it could be even better, but like I mean compared to what you would normally get from AI, this is pretty insane. I would change the header person and stuff like that, but let's just let's just go with the flow here, right? So there we go. WordPress is now set up. Oh, let's get to Docker, sorry. So let's open this. There we go. It's got uh, WooCommerce because you can see it has a checkout. Uh, let's just check what the username and password is. Sorry for flicking around admin. So let's just copy the password. Okay, so let's go to slash WordPress admin and then admin and then log in. I'm sorry, I'm not one prompting this. I'm vibe coding this, I should say. Okay, so we're in. Let's see uh, themes. Where is themes? Appearance themes. Okay, so there's no theme or anything like that. That's fine. Okay, so let's first of all, let's just attach this CSV and let's just say add these products either via CLI, curl, or um, import CSV, whatever. Just get them on my site, right? Um, I would personally say if you've got a lot of products, do it via um, a CSV import, I would say. That's probably the best way to do it. But if you've just got 10 products like this, then you can also just let it do it semi-manually, right? Okay, so let's just see if this, this works. It's basically created a Python script. It's converted 20 products from Shopify to WooCommerce uh, format. And then it should theoretically just import them all, right? So you get, maybe you can kind of see where I'm coming from, guys, but I'm very excited about this because, like, I didn't even know this was possible until very recently. So can we create basically an entire business in 10 minutes now? That's kind of, kind of the question I'm asking today, right? Okay, so let me install the CSV importer. So you would have had to do all this yourselves. You would have, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm just sat back, relaxing, feet up, and it's just doing it, right? Now, I could just technically take this CSV that it created and just import it. So I might just quickly see if that works, just because I'm curious. So let's search for this, and then wait. So am I, yeah, okay. Search for that, and then can I drag this there? No. Okay, so I just uh, selected it here. Let's just see if this works. Run the importer. The products are now being imported. Okay, so it says 20 products imported. There we go. So, I mean, that still saved me a lot of time, right? I didn't even have to convert the files myself. And then instead of it doing that, I said, so I'll just say I just uh, imported them through the admin. Can you check you have the products? So this is what the website currently looks like now that it has products, right? It's pretty, obviously, it, it, it's basic, but th this is kind of, Menu. This is automatically created by the theme, right? The product page. So there we go. It can see the products, uh, WP, WC product list. There we go. No, I don't care about that. Okay. So now I want you to, so what I would do at this stage is I'm just going to say, I want you to, I don't know why it's, 
I don't know what's wrong with my Mac recently. So I want you to create five categories and assign products to them and then put well, let's just do that. I just want some categories um, for two reasons. Number one, you guys should always have categories. So I'm just showing you that this is an important part of the process. And number two is I want them because I want to be able to display categories on the home page and it's part of the design. And therefore, I just have to quickly also create some categories. Now you can see it's super, super easy. It just created five categories for me in like literally one second. Um, so if we go to categories, we should see some categories here and now it's going to assign the products. So we'll see that in a second as well. Now let me assign products to their appropriate categories. So I'm basically just creating an entire business, right? Now it, the, the main thing is, can it take the design index.html and turn it into a full blown website? That's kind of, that would be the exciting thing to see. So there we go. We now have some actual SEOable stuff. We have some categories. We have some stuff. I've been doing this for like 10 minutes, guys, and I've already got, you know, the bare bones of an entire website. Okay, so that worked good. Okay, now take the design in index.html inside your root directory, not inside, uh, what was it called, econ site and use it to precisely to create a WordPress ecom website around that design. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just keep it simple. There we go. Wait, ultra thing it. I'm just gonna say ultra thing it because I have a theory that one of the reasons Codex is so much better and Claude Coders degenerated so much is that we're not actually giving it the time to think, right? Okay, so it seems they want me to think deeply about this. There we go. So now I'll let this run. Uh, it's just read 1,457 lines of code. I just want to see what it actually says here. I want to see if, if it says it's like a manageable task or if it's going to have problems or whatever it might be. And then literally you would just add some blogs and you'd be pretty much done. This is a beautiful modern e-commerce design for rustic or a home and garden furniture decor store. The design features color scheme, uh, key sections, interactive elements. Now I need to convert this into a WordPress theme with WooCommerce integration. This will involve creating custom theme, converting HTML into WordPress PHP templates, marking the products dynamic using, yeah, perfect. This is exactly what I want it to do. And yeah, I could literally just go to sleep right now and hopefully wake up with a full e-commerce store obviously i'd need to add things like a contact page and you know all that but i mean yeah we'll see how this does okay so it's currently testing it and i just want to kind of show you guys this process so this is what we've got you can see it's i'm just gonna i'm just gonna pause it actually I, normally i just let it test but i just want to see wow um This is pretty mad, guys. I, I, it was that that was six minutes. <laughs> that is that is crazy. That is crazy. That was about twenty minutes in total to make this entire store. I, I honestly am blown away. I'm blown away. I can't believe this is possible. I mean, it still needs a tiny bit of work. Obviously, it's not completely perfect, but I did stop it early. Um, yeah, with a little bit more prompting, guys, like th this was simple prompting. So imagine this with a complicated prompt where you're really, you know, going at it to do all the SEO and, you know, blah, 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 make, you know, do a pop up and you... <laughs> guys, this is this is crazy. Holy shit. So yeah, guys, if you do end up uh, using this, definitely check out seogrove.ai if you need the SEO done for it, like on a more consistent basis, or honestly, just vibe code it yourselves. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. This is an absolute game changer, I'm not gonna lie. Like you can literally just generate an entire beautiful looking e-com store in under 20 minutes, which I did not think 
I did not have that on my bingo card. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, as usual, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Holy crap. Peace out.